what is going on YouTube it's a boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to soft mod a fat PS2 so here are some of the tools and software that you will be needing now keep in mind this method will work for the fat PS2 only and you will also need a PS2 memory card you will also need a PS2 network adapter the SATA version you will also need a SATA hard drive it can be a laptop SATA hard drive or a desktop um, SATA hard drive but I'll be using a SSD hard drive instead also you will need a USB stick okay so tools and software will be in the description make sure you guys check them out okay so let's go over to the computer and show you guys this is my ps2 usb stick make sure that it's format to fat32 also this is my ssd hard drive right here um, it's 111 gig so what we need to do with the ps2 hard drive is that we need to go to the start menu down here right click then go to disk management once you get to disk management go down and you want to search for your hard drive whatever hard drive you are using so this is my ssd so i'm just gonna right click and i'm gonna delete volume okay if you don't do that you're gonna have a hard time using the program with the hard drive so once you delete the volume go ahead and close disk management then what you want to do is head back to the links in the description and you want to make sure you download these files right here the first one we're gonna use is winhip so go ahead and extract right here perfect now head inside the winhip folder and you're gonna run the winhip as administrator once you're right here go ahead and select drive now look for your your hard drive that you connected your ps2 hard drive so mine is this um 111 gigs as you saw before so i'm just going to select it press ok then go to options make sure that 48 bit is selected go to format then you want to click ok click yes ok boom and that's it it's done press ok ok and exit the program now go back and what we need to do from right here we can delete this folder because we don't need it anymore go ahead and open up fmcb1.95 go ahead and open that up now you want to copy everything over to your ps2 usb stick so just drag everything and drop it right there okay so that's done so as you can see the files are on my usb stick so just go ahead and eject this okay from right here now just go ahead and plug your ps2 usb stick in the ps2 and then plug your memory card inside the ps2 okay so once you have your memory card and your ps2 usb stick plugged into the usb port go ahead now and install the hdd raw copy you can go ahead and install it um, i have already installed it so just go ahead and run the program it's gonna pop up like this what we need to do from right here is go ahead and unzip the fhdb1.93 go ahead and extract here so as you can see the image has just finished extracting and it's 7.25 gigabyte so just go ahead and bring back up the hdd raw copy 
now scroll all the way down to where it says double click to open file so just double click and then you want to search for the image and here is the image so just click open now press continue then what you want to do from right here is search for your ps2 hard drive that you have connected to the to your pc so if i scroll go down this is my ssd hard drive i can tell because um, i'm using the a data connection to connect it to the pc so what you need to do is make sure that you select your ps2 hard drive that you have connect to the pc make sure you select the right one so this is mine as you can see it's highlighted blue so i'm just going to press continue and as you can see it shows the size of the image down here 7 gigs and over here it shows the hard drive name and size once you have selected the correct hard drive go ahead and press start this will format the hard drive so um, make sure it's the right one you're using this will take some time so I'm just gonna come back once it's done okay so once it's done you're gonna see task complete down here you're gonna see 100% complete so go ahead and close this program now all right so what we need to do from right here is unplug our ps2 hard drive and let's connect it to the ps2 network sata adapter and plug it into your ps2 okay once you have everything connected back to your ps2 your hard drive your memory card and the usb stick go ahead and power on the ps2 now okay so as you can see um i have a free hd boot on the left on top corner so let's scroll down and we're going to be using the u launch elf hdd so press x okay so once you get to this page you want to press circle for file browser okay so once you get to this page go all the way down to mass mass is your usb stick that you have plugged into your ps2 so press x go all the way down to fmcb installer elf press x okay so once you get to this page now you're gonna press r1 r1 again and you can choose to either format the ps2 memory card if there's nothing important on the ps2 memory card you can format it and you can have a clean install okay but for me there's nothing important so i'm just gonna format it okay format complete so right here where it says main menu and it you can see that there's install multi install what i would recommend is to use multi install this will allow you to use the one um free map boot memory card on any other ps2 if you do install this is just for one console okay multi install this is for any ps2 you can take your ps2 um, memory card and you can plug it in your friends um, ps2 and it will work okay so use multi install go down to ok go down to yes and let it install on your ps2 memory card okay so once it's complete installing press ok then you want to press exit press ok okay so now that you're at the memory card option you can just go ahead and reboot your ps2 okay so i just rebooted the ps2 and as you can see in the left top corner you can see that it says free map boot 
when we first did it it says free HD boot so we have now successfully installed free map boot on our PS2 memory card what I would suggest is that you can still keep the free HD boot on your PS2 hard drive just in case you end up losing the memory card you can easily install it on another memory card just in case you lose the original okay so guys um, let me know if you want to see more stuff about the PS2 like how to add some games and some other more stuff um, let me know in the comments if the video was helpful give it a like share the video and you can also subscribe for more video to come thanks for watching guys and I will see you in my next video